Hello and welcome back and thank you for coming back today. Well, we're in downtown Kedo Paphos and we'd like you to come for a little walk with us down the Kedo Paphos promenade and hopefully we'll meet some old friends and you never know, we might even get to meet some new friends. Now, as is tradition, Ochin Receiviala Booth, the most beautiful woman in the world, is going to give you a very, very big hello. But at the moment, she's preoccupied checking out the hats. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again. And again. And again. So stick with us. Here we go. We'll leave her to have a look at the hat because if she likes it, well, guess what? For a change, she can buy it. We're off down to the Cato Pathos Promenade and this is the start of it. That's the Bania restaurant over there, which in Greek means the bath. It's actually sitting on the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. So you get the idea there. That's where people go into the sea and have a, well, have a swim, or in olden times it was called have a bath. Receiving? Well, Banya is going, has been going for a long, long time, but I think only the name of it could change, or it, not even the name, uh, just the facade of it. Yeah, change. the restaurant is here, well, I think since the beginning of time. They changed this bit and they changed that bit, but I think there's been a restaurant there or some kind of coffee shop since the beginning of time. Just over there, we've got the Chloe's Chinese restaurant. So this is on the Kedopathos Harbour promenade area. And as you can see, the tables themselves are absolute works of art. The restaurant is fantastic. And the cuisine, cuisine, the cuisine is absolutely spectacular. The presentation is wonderful, but yet the price, well, it's very, very reasonable indeed. It's a great place to come and sample the Chinese cuisine that is in offer in downtown Paphos. Receive the booths eaten here, oh so so sweet Caroline's eaten here, and many other people have told us that the food is truly, truly exceptional. Look at this presentation as well. Yes, this is the Osun restaurant. And they're presenting you some of the catch of the day, and you can pop along, choose the one that you want. I would choose this one, the fattest, the biggest. One. You like the biggest. She does have a bit of a thing with big things. There's a quick look at their menu. They do a very nice steak in here. I've had the Irish steak, I've had the spare ribs, and I had the giant pork chop, whatever that means. Well, the luckily, we do do quite a lot of walking around, and we do keep quite active, so. I am a little bit plump, but I'm not actually that much overweight. You see the booth? Well, she's absolutely perfect. Every day she checks those scales and she comes back with the magic that she weighs less than a little sparrow. Wow. I would like to say uh, one thing, which is very important, by the way. Why this road is still open? Well, I think traditionally now what's happened is the summer season has ended and we're going into autumn. So in their great wisdom, they open this boulevard, this road. Now this road comes through the promenade in the summer season. They close it at around about three o'clock and keep it closed all night. But again, now it's open again. There are bollards, but of course they don't actually stop you walking across the road. So please, if you are here at this time, please, please remember to look both ways. It's only a one way, but you know, please be careful to check both ways and check both ways twice. And make sure there's no cars about before you cross over this. I think it's a bit dangerous. I think the whole area should be closed off and it should be for pedestrians only. Perhaps I'll pop and have a word with my Goombara, the mayor, on Friday. I always go and see him every Friday morning. We have a frappe together and we discuss the politics and things that are going on in downtown Kedipathos. And he doesn't take a blind bit of notice of what I say. So from now on, I'm going to take my new friend with me and his name is Kevin Croc. He's a lovely little croc and I had him on my shoulder and he gave me an awful lot of advice. So Mr. Bruce, Miss Angela Petrie, if you chip him to me in a box, I'll take him to have a word with my Goombara the Mayor. And I'm sure that the Mayor will listen to Kevin because Kevin is an expert on absolutely everything. And I hope now as you're talking about uh, Angela and Bruce, you said, Petri. I hope that Miss Anne landed uh, successfully. Yeah, another one of our super, superstar subscribers, Miss Anne Bell. We, well, she graced us with the pleasure of allowing us to have a little bit of time with her. We met her three times. She accosted us off camera. We accosted her off camera. And then she returned the favor by accosting us again. 
absolutely lovely lady all the way from the wonderful place called Hartlepool and she's come out in May for two weeks she came out just for two weeks next year she's going to come out for three weeks and three weeks because she says she's just got too many appointments to do when she's here and now she's even put us into her diary as well Miss Anne we are truly truly humbled and we look forward to seeing you very very soon and if there's somewhere that you want us to go drop it in the comments and we will Miss Anne Honestly, for you, we would go anywhere you tell us. We really, really fall in love with you and thank you for the company that you provide to us. Right, let's keep going down the Cato Paphos Promenade and show you some of the businesses to give you a bearing of perhaps where you might be. Just over there, that's the ideal snack bar. That's the Aphrodite Secrets. That's a traditional product shop that sells chewy bars. It sells Cypriot Delight, olive oils, and that kind of stuff. Then you've got a more traditional gift shop selling T-shirts, which are branded, beachwear, sunglasses, and belts. And then you've got a cafe over there. That's known as the B.A. Bacchus Bar. Yes, as in reference to Mr. T, Mr. Jeremy and Mr. Simon. And I ain't going on no aeroplaning, so stop that jibber jabbering. That's the place over there. Very busy. It's quite early in the evening, but it's going to get absolutely packed out, that is for sure. Right at the very back on the middle aisle there, the man in the white top with the reddish apron around him, that is Mr. Victor, and he's the man in charge. Superstar beyond superstars, speaks perfect English, and he has a Mancunian wife. So remember, he speaks with a bit of a Mancunian twang. Receiving. And there is one diamond, no, not diamond shop, next to... Your I'd never noticed it. I'd never noticed. I've never no, noticed that not. shop at all. I never, never, never. Now, worry. on the next block of shops, very, very famous with the locals and the expats and tourists, is the Wooden Pub. So if you want to pop in there and get yourself that great, great special pint of beer or cider, that's where you go. Then there's another silly diamond shop. Then there's a more traditional gift shop and another gift shop next door to that. And then there's the Azua Cafe. So that's the blue cafe. Why is it called blue? Well, that's very, very simple. That is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And a great, great view it is, because as you can see, that sea is blue. That sky is blue. I'm dressed head to toe in blue. All that's actually missing is you. So get yourself on a big bird or on a canoe and start paddling like crazy. Because all that's missing is you. And Paphos is quite simply waiting for you. Now, the next block of shops. But while we're on that one over there, the Azua Cafe, to be honest, I've been there in the past and had a great coffee in the morning and then you get a nice croissant or a cake of your choice. That's including the price. They give you that free if you go there before 11 o'clock and it's a big croissant. So if you don't want a big breakfast, go there, buy a coffee, two euros 50, and you get a free croissant or a free piece of cake. Now, middle of the Cato Papas Promenade and we have this little artificial beach, should we say. That's one of the few bits of sand on the Cato Paphos Promenade, that's for sure. And you've got a great, great view out to the rocks and out across the abyss of the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. And as we scan around now, we come into the Cato Paphos Harbour. And of course, there is the sun setting up in the sky before it starts on its trek out towards Cato, Australia. But don't worry, it's coming back first thing in the morning at about 6.30, it'll be back and it'll bake us yet again. You see me? Have you ever been swimming in this side? No, we've not actually. Perhaps we should get into our bikinis. Yes, I've got one. And go and have a little dip. What From do you think? this side. But this is what happened, you know, when we're going to eat a lot, we have to drink a lot and then straight away from that restaurant, straight to the sea, jump and have a swim. Chill out. Well, thank you again and again for the watching time of yours. We love you in the YouTube bits and we asking you to come again and again to see another of our purposes. We loving you again and again and we kissing you again and again. All that's left me to say is thanks for watching. And of course if you like what you see hit the like, click subscribe, please come back for a little bit more of our madness and if you want to help the channel grow please hit the like and please click the subscribe both of those actions cost you nothing but they tell youtube that perhaps you quite like us if you want to help the channel grow that little bit further and see us go on adventures perhaps you can go to our about page and consider 
buying us a coffee. It's a very, very simple thing to do. Receiving. Thank you again and again, and many kisses from me and Mr. Thanks for watching. So that's the sun glistening across the sky overhead as it beams down onto the Cade of Paphos Harbour, a place that is absolute paradise. And we truly, truly thank you for watching, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Thank you.